Maybe they were just like, oh, this is hot. This is kinky. This is what you were thinking of? <laughs> it just, it just crossed my mind, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Volume 1, the anime and manga podcast where we review the first volume of a brand new manga each week. My name is Josh the Ronin Michaels. And today, as always, I am joined by... Megan the Adulterer Perrine. God. Okay, cool. Because then I can be Cody the Vagabond Decker. Oh, <laughs> today we cool. of course are going to be <laughs> reviewing, discussing, and talking about Volume One of none other than the <laughs> Vagabond. We've been getting a, a lot of requests to cover this manga series, and we're finally doing it. It's a it's a beloved series, an old series, and a series that is also known for going on very long hiatuses. Mm. Um. I didn't really know anything about this series when uh, I started reading it. I thought it was going to be about like hobos and stuff. Yeah, I don't know where that. you got that from. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I also had no idea what the story was about. Yeah, I had seen some covers and then I kind of put together what to expect. But upon doing some research for the episode, I discovered that the mangaka for this series, Takehiko Inoue, also was the mangaka of Slam Dunk, which is mm-hmm. a basketball manga. So it was just a little weird to me. Um, for the manga to do two completely different series like that. It's funny he wrote Slam Dunk because this manga was a Slam Dunk. Oh! Oh. Well, you know, you have Inoue (laughs) Takehiko, which was the story art, and then you had another person on story. Well, it was just based on a book. The Uh, manga was based uh, on a book, based uh, on a true person. Yeah, so the book book was based on a... a, It's a fictional... um, tale of a real person's life yeah, uh, it was yeah. known as a biography um uh yeah and uh it's 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 about a ronin he was the the person who the novel a was vagabond yeah, it was, yeah i mean a, a vagabond yes um a swordsman a philosopher a strategist a writer a ronin i mean this guy was everything and this is his story and you know in volume one go ahead cody i don't know how i feel after reading this what do you mean about the story or about the characters are like I, how I feel about what I read. It yeah. took a weird turn. Very weird. It was just like, oh, this is what we're doing. Is this going to, af- this is affecting too many things. <laughs> like, why yeah. did this? <laughs> well, that's exactly what I was going to start talking about. I think that this is a beloved series and I can understand why. The art style is beautiful. I think the writing is really well done, especially ha- having a manga series that's based off a book, I think is a really... Um, interesting concept and I think it's why at times it does feel like a novel but the first volume alone on its own at times felt a little all over the place and felt a little disjointed at times but there were really solid moments in the first volume but um, I liked it a lot in the beginning yeah and then things just kept happening like oh is this what this is about (laughs) yeah yeah, because it does take a turn, and it takes a turn, you know, towards the middle, and then it sort of, once you hit that mark, it sort of goes into a completely different territory. So, in order to give this series a fair chance, I did do more research, and I found out that what we're covering today in Volume 1 is a lot of the precursor to the actual story. There is, later on, um, going to be a time skip where a lot of the story sort of focuses, and what we're reading now is sort of um just everything that leads up to that mm. time skip the um the way events happened did remind me of gilgamesh mm. the writing of this did feel old like classical old yeah um that 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 was the impression especially the events going like ah oh, yeah that's it's kind of yeah mm-hmm. there's something about old stories they like doing stuff like this well this is a real um set in a real time period too so it's an old story set in an old uh, historical, actual historical time. Well, so is Gilgamesh, yeah. Oh, well, I never read Gilgamesh. Okay, well, don't say something like it's a correction. If it... Ooh. Well, I just did my classic I know what you're talking about thing and hoping we would just move on and you wouldn't call me out for it, but here we you are. You know, that's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But here we are again, again. Um, but I do want to read a quick 
synopsis for anybody who's watching that doesn't know anything about Vagabond, just to catch everybody up and to make sure we're all on the same page. The synopsis of Vagabond is, growing up in the late 15th century Sengoku-era Japan, Shinmin Takizo is shunned by the local villagers as a devil child due to his wild and violent nature. Running away from home with a fellow boy at age 17, Takizo joins the Toyotomi army to fight the Takugawa clan at the Battle of Sekigara. That was very hard. Yeah, yeah he's like chuggling there. Woo! All important things. All important things. To the yes. story. And um, we learn more about this devil child. Mm-hmm. And um, he's not actually that bad. Uh, compared he's actually to his little friend. The least devil yeah. of the... Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, do, before we get into the actual events of Volume 1, a lot of people do compare this series in its, I think, themes to Berserk. Um, and Which I don't uh, get at all. I would say more yeah. like how, like, wowed I was at the art, mm-hmm. like, throughout the whole manga. I was like, wow, like, th- like the, the pages that have, like, full color, like, watercolor, like, just, like, art. I was like, oh, okay. Like, this is really breathtaking. Like, that's what drew me in more. Like, the art was really keeping me going. Because, mm-hmm. like, the story, like, there is, like, not a lot of heavy dialogue. So, that's kind of nice. I mean, they're kind of like, this is what it is. And you're getting this. <laughs> like, it's not like we have to explain everything about this era to you before we tell you all these things, which I liked. Um, but, yeah, that's the only real connection I had with the the two. Yeah, because I, I do want to say that I really did like this character and I did like this story and it had some really great moments in volume one, but it it did feel again, a little all over the place. And I think that is just a symptom of this early volume. I do think that the actual story and a lot of what we're seeing um, people comparing this character to guts is are things that come later. Mm. Um, But in volume one alone, um, the art, yes, breathtaking, beautiful. And, 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 I mean, I don't know, Cody. How did how did you feel about before we go into the actual specific details? How did you feel about the volume as a as a whole? Um, again, like when I say I don't know how I felt, mm-hmm. it was sort of like because I at the beginning like oh that's fun that's like a very solid opening to a story. Okay, mm-hmm. like oh it was like two bros fighting a war. Okay, uh, did that did that happen? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that. Let me go back. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Oh, they're doing that again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, main character, I like him. Oh, wow, they're, what? That didn't, I'm sorry, what's happening? Yeah, and, yeah, and I, and I want to be respectful of this series, and I want to, you know, I want to make sure I, I talk about it eloquently and delicately, but there were a lot of things that were very unclear to me, I think, in the way that they were, they were shown and drawn and illustrated. Like you said, I had to go back so many times, and, and, you know, truly, this this was a series that was hard for me to find a a a copy of. So reading it online, I I couldn't help but think like, did I miss a page? Did I? Are there pages and panels that I that didn't load properly? I mean, I I, I that's how confused I was at certain points. Um, I'm also dumb, so take that with a grain grain of salt. But um, yeah. Anyway, I guess um, I guess we could start going into it a, a little bit more. Um, but it opens like you said beautifully. Did you say what you, what your impressions of it were? Yeah, you, uh, you did. Yeah. yeah, I did in the beginning, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Do you feel like you need to say more, Megan? Uh, no. No, we can get <laughs> right you, into Cody. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I did like it. I mean, I, I'm sure that I will create a vagabond with the series oh, if I keep reading it. And it was worth throwing um, it back. Yeah, but that, that, that was written down on her note. <laughs> it wasn't. Thing. Um, but yeah, it, it, uh, it's a series that I know that I will have a vagabond with too. Once it gets, what the, deeper what into, the hell? it's called a segue. Okay. okay? It's called a segue, segue and it's how a segue. It's called joke theft. No, it's not oh. called joke theft. What's joke theft is if I were to say, you know what? I have a vagabond with this series. You, and if you I, said it two times now. No, no, no. That's the first time do. I said, I know If they didn't watch it to this point, they're going to think that's your joke. Who does that? People? So people. No. People who will then be like, well, what about this? Like, we said, Come on, we said that. Okay, and worst case scenario, people think it was my idea. What's so bad about that? Wow. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Keep going. What was we the open segue? Up, yeah, say your little thing. I was going to say, speaking of having a vagabond with this series, which is something I came up with on my own. Uh-huh. That's true. Very true. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. <laughs> Very good. Uh, the series opens up. 
um, with two bros fighting, which is another thing that I said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and yeah, they're in the middle of a they're in the aftermath of a battle, and both of them seem to have the shit kicked out of them. They're they're pretty beat up, both of them. Yeah, are. they're hanging on. Yeah, um, and it's it's the main character's name is Takuzo, and then the other character is Marahachi, right? His friend. And at this point, we're shown that Takuzo is the is the fighter of the group, and Marahachi is like his. The, the the friend who looks up to him wants to be him, who admires him, who is struggling to be on the same level as him. We see them both beat up in this field, and Marahachi's like, I, I'm not going to make it. Leave me behind. And he's like, no, I'm carrying you with me. And their bond is established already. We're let in on the fact that they are childhood friends that left their town, that I think we're, we're let on right away, that Marahachi has a, a fiancé that he left behind, too. Um, but that they are deciding and have decided to be warriors um, in, in, instead of living in that town. You know, it's always fun when you like you don't know how to fight and you're like, I want to go to war with you, bro. Yeah. And he's like, because you could fight and maybe you could teach me to fight along the way. But yeah, we'll be two you're warriors. good at fighting. You're the fighter <laughs> and I will be right behind you. I'm yeah. the guy who takes all the credit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Well, that sounds like someone I know. Oh, who does that sound like? Huh. Hmm. Because hmm. I'm like the fighter. All and right. then you. What am I? Yeah, say it. You take uh, credit for, for things that I do. Mm-hmm. Like me and Cody are like kind of both fighters. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then you're kind of like. Cody's a fighter. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> okay, I Some take that back. Right now, oh, no, you know, you know what? Rock paper scissors. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. Because uh, <laughs> you know, you'll lose. Yeah, that's true. Because um, you are a chicken. I'd rather be squawk a, squawk. I'd rather be a. I'm chicken. sorry. Am I hearing bark bark right now? Bark 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 bark. I'd rather be bark, a chicken. Bark 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 bark. bark. Okay. <laughs> All right. You've made your point. You've made your point. You. I don't even know what that animal is. It became some sort of monkey. Too. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. I know it's a chicken. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to put some respect on this series. You are. And you're over there making chicken noise. Wow. Okay. Put it all on us, just like the non-fighter would do. Yeah. <laughs> Real fighter. Oh, fighter-less. the only one who's fighting for this series right now is me. I am fighting for this series because I'm a fighter, and it's already been established that I love this series, and I've created a vagabond with it. Mm. Okay. I'm well, bringing it now back. Who's stealing whose joke? I- anyway. <laughs> anyway, you fucker. Um, but also, yeah. pretty short volume. Yeah, the chapters went by so fast. Again, that was another reason why I thought panels were missing and pages were missing. Yeah, that's what. Like, I, I'm kind of like, it, yeah, it, it, classical things happen in this, but it, it was also very. It was easy. It was an easy read. That's what, when I say I don't mm-hmm. know how I feel about it. That's not a negative. That's just like I don't know what I was supposed to feel. Yeah, I don't want to be negative about the series at all either, but I want to be fair and I want to just talk about how I felt reading it. And I want people watching and listening who do love the series to tell me what how to, to feel and you'll what just to, repeat no, whatever the popular no, opinion is. No, yeah. we're not that kind of podcast and you know that. To know well, what we're, to, we're not that. To know what to look forward to. And I just like to be um, corrected and I like to be a source for proper information. Propaganda. Propaganda. <laughs> no. I did like the gore, though. Mm-hmm. It was pretty yeah. gory. I liked when he threw that boulder on that guy's head. Yeah. That was cool, because that was pretty heavy, probably. And just his fighting style in the very beginning was, a, a, he's a guy who, at this point in the story, isn't properly trained. Uh-huh. He's just using whatever he has lying around to kill. They even said early on that uh, they set out to be fighters, warriors, soldiers, whatever, but that all that's been put in their hand instead of a sword was like a, a you know farming tools, basically. Which um, is what the original ninja used. Is that real? Yeah, uh, ninjas didn't do any ninja stuff. They were just, you know, people. So, uh, they, they, yeah, farming equipment is, like, very good at, like, it, you can easily turn that into weapons. So, like, villagers would often use those as uh, as stuff. So, people who were undercover as fighters would, you know, always carry around a, a farming tool that could be easily turned into a weapon. Pitchforks, I mean. It's oh, just yeah. a three-pronged spear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, um, uh, the, I mean, yeah. The idea of ninjas comes from, they, they did, like, a, a thing in plays because people who, like, uh, did, like, uh, you know, handwork, they would wear all black suits so they would blend into the background and they would play with that by having, oh, they're so good at blending in, you didn't suspect that person. Oh. So because of that, they took the, yeah. You know, this manga was a, was a good history lesson, but so's doing a podcast with you, Cody. 
Aww. I have a lot of useless trivia <laughs> that uh, I just have, and I'm like, okay, but 10 years down the road. This will I'll get a, me places. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this will get me a lot of things. Yeah, you just wait. Yes. Speaking um, of things we didn't see coming. Well, yeah. 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 They, uh, <laughs> yeah, they get taken in by a kindly villager. Yeah, once they beat all those those soldiers. Oh, yeah, yeah they beat all those soldiers and he throws up on his face. Yeah. I was like, God and, damn. And, and again, that's that's another thing that I didn't know. Um, I couldn't tell exactly what was happening in that moment. I couldn't tell if he was he was nauseous from the battle, from the gore, or if it, it almost seemed as if he might have been like one of the weapons might have been poisoned or something. And yeah. Because he, he kind of did it kind of did feel like it kind of came out of nowhere. And then he got dizzy and he kind of fell down, passed out. Him and his friend both passed out. And so to me, I didn't know if it was a poison blade or just nausea from from gore, which I think this character would be able to handle. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, or, you know, getting stabbed, probably you know. losing blood. Yeah, losing blood or like also like just running around and doing like exercise. People throw up from that. And he, if he wasn't yeah. trained, uh, yeah, yeah, he probably isn't. I don't think people aren't built to handle what happens when someone dies. I mean, yeah, no, I think a lot of people think they are. But yeah. yeah. Um, um, yeah, they get uh, they're They encounter grave robbers. Yeah, they encounter um, thieves of the battlefield who steal weapons. Which I thought was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I was like, fucking take it. Like, yeah, I mean, the th- like, I was like, well, it's better than the enemy being able to loot it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's these, you know, it's these two, a mother and her daughter, um, who we find out later, the mother, um, her husband was was murdered by another uh-huh. uh, gang member, uh, leader. Uh, how do you say that word? Brigand? Brigand. 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 Um Oh I, like God, I, little, <laughs> I like the little. I like the little like. This is, is yeah. going to be my shining episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Communication yeah. between him and like the daughter, where he's just like talking to her. And he's like, "How old are you?" She's like, "Oh, 14. He's mm-hmm. like, "How old are you?" He's like, 17. And she's like, "I thought you were 30." Yeah, yeah this is a classic Megan Josh dynamic. I yeah. Like, yeah, this is why. Like in the beginning, I was super on board for it. I'm like, "That's funny," uh, you know. And then I'm like, oh, I'm seeing my friends on on the paper. Yeah, I'm like, you must. I literally wrote, oh, I thought you were 30. I bet you get that reaction a lot, Josh. It's yeah, a dude, I, and that's why. Thank you. Yeah, and I did connect with the character, the main character, a lot in that way. But you you're know, not we 17. Well, I mean, I think he was talking about his spirit, as am I when I talk about my age. You know, and, but that was his actual age. It's my actual spirit age as well. <laughs> spirit and, age. Yeah, <laughs> yeah spirit age. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but their friendship too, by the way, I, I I thought it was much closer than it turned out to be. Yeah. Yeah, and you, I mean, you think about it, like they're both 17-year-old kids. They're kind of dumb. Which is, that's a great point. I didn't really think of that because yes, they say that they're 17 multiple times in the first volume, but I because of how they're, they're shown and drawn, it never clicked. I have a hard time accepting anyone who's... Uh, taller than me can be younger than me yeah <laughs> it's hard it's yeah. hard to comprehend you're like wait what a minute like- well i also think you kind of naturally want to project onto the character that you're reading unless mm-hmm. they're clearly a child if they look like a, an adult you assume that they're closer to your age mm-hmm. that's what uh, the truman show messed up Why? he's supposed to be 18 Oh, oh yeah, and I that's like that, that's yeah. like the theme of it. Is he just graduating? He's like learning about the world and everything. But then yeah, they but hire that's a, just a, a, like a you know, a gym. it's just Hollywood. Yeah, like teenagers are grown adults. Yeah, but I think for that movie they just wanted Jim Carrey, which is fair. But which just is a great write point. a different movie. Yeah, he could. Yeah, just make him an older guy. But he's yeah. twenty. I would have believed. I guess so. Um, no, was, how old uh, was he in that movie? At least thirty. Really? And a, he's Probably. an eternal youthful, another eternal. Another eternal uh, youth, another youth. spirit yeah. youth. Yeah. Of another spotless. <laughs> of a spotless mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, if that's like part of it is um, the turn of, oh, these aren't like, um, mm-hmm. oh, just because they knew each other since they were friends does not mean they well, yeah. I or mean, knew each other since they were kids, not since they were friends. Like, I'm with Cody. Like, I was hooked. Like, you know, she's like, my father died. And then this guy comes up and I was like, Oy. oh, is that Machete? Like, he looks like Machete. You know, yeah. Machete, but I, he wasn't Machete. Anyway, yeah. he's like, comes up and he's like, she's like, oh, he's the one who killed my dad. I was like, oh, we get into it now. And yeah. then it, like, it, it really was like cooking me. Like, I was like, okay, what the fuck's going to happen? Yeah, but I re- really respected it for taking the turn it did because you're right. They, um, it does. It hit a lot of beats where you're like, okay, she's going to get revenge or um, Takazo is going to get revenge for her mm-hmm. and take this guy out. And it starts hitting a lot of familiar beats. And you're all the, all the while you're seeing um, 
uh, Marahachi, right? You're seeing him drinking sake with the two women, and they're having fun, and he's like, you know, let loose, man. Like, and come he can't, on. he can't take his alcohol. Yeah, yeah, that's that not, was cute. Yeah, yeah. one of those things, like, oh, the gruff guy. Uh, yeah, he's he's always sake's 17. crazy. You people, that shit creeps up on you. Yeah, sake. You and have soju one little thing, and you're really like, do, yeah. whoa, like it's pretty potent. But yeah, this. And then we start getting bad vibes from Mama. And that's yeah. when I was like, okay, where is this going to go? Well, she was always kind of, yeah, they would kind of focus sus. and linger on little panels of her with a lot of shadows over her little face. Sus. And, you know, a lot of focus on the yeah. lips. And that's Are you, when, you know, really 17? Up. Yeah. She took a liking to Takizo right away mm-hmm. and um, even tried to make a move on him. And he he wasn't he wasn't having it. And, wasn't and, having it. And this whole time, too, like, I, I saw Madahachi as this, like, sidekick funny character he's always trying to get the hardened hero character loosened up yeah. and out of his comfort zone and and, and make him crack a smile because he's this you know tough guy who doesn't break and he's that silly guy always making jokes but then when the the band of like gangsters show up to the house he has a like legitimately badass moment yeah he takes out a room of samurai or warriors he takes uh-huh. out a whole room mm-hmm. up of them Pretty easily, it seems like. Yeah, pretty easily. And he's just like, oh, he's such a kid thing to say. Like, I was a kid. And now that I killed a man, I'm a man. I was like, that's not the only thing that makes you a man. That was, that was uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, there were charming moments, like, when they, like, beat up and then they celebrate, like, a bunch of, they're like, oh, we did it. And they are like, oh, yeah, these are, like, these are just a bunch of teens. So they are, like, they are, like, good fighters, but they are children. Yeah, she, the mom says, like, yeah, the mom says, like, a quote, like, they're kids playing a game of blood. Like, they're not taking it seriously. Like, they're, they're killing people, and it's, like, a fun game. Like, I think you see that a lot in, like, just, like, war. Like, kids go out to war, and they're, like, this is fucking crazy. We're just, they don't, like, comprehend, like, what's actually fucking happening. Well, yeah, and I, what I do like about the two characters, especially when something that we'll talk about later is revealed, I do like that what it is showing is two people who have a similar dream, but one of them seems to want to achieve that dream for the clout, and one mm-hmm. of them wants to achieve that dream because it's something they actually want to achieve. It's something that actually matters to them and means something to them, and they're willing to work for. The other one just wants to kind of be there and the other one wants to do everything he can to reach well because he there. didn't really have anything going for him back in the village so he's yeah. like i'm gonna take off and his, his his friend's like i'll go with you but it's like bro you have a fiance like you find out that you have a mom like you have a family which this guy his dad was yeah. not the best guy so it's and like those arranged marriage days so. yeah, yeah those are always me, fun yeah, you always have that you know because i had i had a stepbrother who's i was like you know i'm gonna start skateboarding and he was like mm. you know what i'm gonna start skateboarding and, and then I'm he like, became a better skater than you you know, no, he did end up. And then her girlfriend he said, a lot. and then she said, see you later, boy. <gasps> I did like Avril Lavigne a lot. You yeah. know what? Honestly, me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Avril Lavigne you know, was yeah. dope. She was super dope. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I liked yeah. these two characters and how they, re- what they represent. They represent like two ways of achieving a dream. One is a shortcut and one is like doing it the right way, the noble way, the honorable way. That's why I liked it up until that point i was like all right here here's gonna be a fun ronin story yeah and then i don't i i'm like what was that that okay. i just saw yeah so to get there basically i mean we said everything leading up to it but to and be and i more like clear, that they pull off an ambush and it doesn't work yeah yeah <laughs> they they like they like, I'm like i was like oh Ooh, they're gonna do it, and the guy just like figures it out, and then they they still like fight. But I also liked how the leader that killed the dad or whatever, like he runs away, and he's like, "You're oh, yeah. shameful! Like, mm-hmm. how? Why are you running away?" And he's just like fucking trying to run for his life, and it's so funny because like, yeah, if you're like a fucking bandit or like a thug, like you don't give a fuck about the like you're you're rushing out for yourself. No, yeah, I mean, and just to catch everybody up to where we're at, like all the things that happened lead up to this one moment, which is the mom, who is Oko, right, hitting on Takuzo, him rejecting her, and then you see a little bit of dialogue between Takuzo and the the daughter, right, and that's where we see the gang leader, and then they all, they're all hiding weapons in their house because the gang leader doesn't, like, doesn't either 
doesn't either want them to be stealing weapons or they don't want him to know that they're stealing weapons. So they have them help hide them in their mm -hmm. roof. Then they come back later to, to search the house. And that's when all of this stuff happens. And then they start drinking sake and the, the gang leader just, he opens the closet and finds the daughter, uh, Akami, and basically just flat out yeah. says, like, we've been reading so many stories lately where I feel like sexual assault has been yeah, I'm like, a thing. How? And he just looks at her and he's just like, rape her. Yeah, no, no, no. I was like, why Why is Manga just get these, like, why do people get these positions of this manga? Like, it's like so, like, fucked up. Like, it's yeah, just like, oh, no, no tiptoe around. Like, just do that. Yeah. And then I'll do, I'll do that. Yeah. That was, yeah, she just says, which one are you? And, uh... Oh, no, oh. that's later. That's oh, later. Yeah, that's yeah. even later than that. Yeah, yeah, because that's when the, that's when the, uh, brigand leader set, opens the, the closet door, finds a little girl, and just flat out says, like, rape her. Mm -hmm. And that's when they're busy with her that he goes to find the mom, and, they um, do the and they do the ambush, shit. and then that's when Matahachi, you know, has his badass moment, mm -hmm. and then the gang leader runs away. There were just little beats that I don't think we covered, because I think these are all little things that do become important for what happens later. And that later moment is right around now, where after Matahachi has killed all those guys, he's in his mind. And Takuzo follows the gang leader and kills the gang leader, too. And he was given, when they're hiding all the weapons in the attic oh, yeah. he was given a wooden sword yeah she's like do you want it and he's like yes i'll, I'll take it I, got, yeah. I want it yes it's yeah. mine yeah he really wanted a weapon and i did think it was cool that he didn't get a actual blade that he got like this wooden a stick stick yeah because we do see him use a stick earlier like an, an actual tree branch earlier um but yeah so he kills he's able to kill the gang leader and now we're at the point where where Matahachi's like on this high um, yeah, and he's like, "I'm a man now. I kill people." And to your point, yes, him being 17 makes this all puts it into a little more context. Mm -hmm. um, but then he starts fantasizing about, "I'm a man now, and I'm gonna do man shit." And man shit is fighting, killing, and fucking. Apparently, yeah, yeah, definitely. And like, Oko knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. She's like, "Oh, like she's like calling for him." And then he's like, oh, shit. And then he goes in and then she's like, which one are you? Well, see, no, I didn't even remember it that way, happening that really? way. Really? Yeah, I remember her like... being asleep when he went in there. Well, no, the... she was calling. She was like, she was like saying like the words outside of the house. I don't remember that happening at all. Really? I, I think he walked into that room and she I thought was she asleep. was calling for him. Maybe. No, he was. He. I mean, I'll show you guys after because I remember him. He went the, into this what, really. The scene I remember is she's already laying down. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe she called him and then like laid down. Or I something? think no. so because no, I took it because sure he he like stopped and like what like heard someone calling. Mm -mm. Oh. Hundred percent. Maybe. Hundred percent. He was in his head. And oh, maybe he was imagining it. See, I that's what I was. That. I was hoping. It was a fantasy sequence. No. Yeah, because the way that I read it is he goes in and it's dark and he sees her laying there and he wa he's looking at her laying there. He's staring at her and then he like lifts up, you know, a piece of her clothing and he sees her and then he, he takes off his clothes and then he gets naked and he gets on top of her. And this is where I'm thinking like, what the fuck is happening? This took a turn out of nowhere. Yeah. And then he says something to her and then sh she responds with like, which one are you? And he his look is uh, a look of shock because uh, he realizes like, oh, she's awake. That's how I, that's oh, how Oh, that's even it. worse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's um, even worse. I thought it was, oh. He does not say his name. Yeah, no. he says the other guy's name. Yeah, he says that he's Takuzo and, uh, um, she's and, like, nah. <laughs> and immediately in his mind, he's like, why did I say that? Um, but it's clear that he has issues with this person, his best friend, mm -hmm. and wants to be him. And feels like he can't live up to his standards. And it's, it's going to be left in the dust. And then they do stuff. And then she's just like, so what's up with your fiance? Yeah. Yeah, because you, you know, I mean, why do you think she did that? Because she, I mean, she clearly was making moves on the other guy. And when she was lied to, she knew, obviously, because of what she said, that that wasn't him. So why does she go through with it? And why is she, like, stringing him along? Because she's a predator. Yeah, I mean, on on one level, it's Good the point. string along. Oh, what well, also, is, you know, it's like, oh, I mean, if an armed, you know, person killer, you know, barges into your room, I don't know if you're gonna. There's yeah. like, a, there is an implied threat there already. I mean, maybe yeah. she was like, because her husband's dead. And this is like a good opportunity to have like someone protect her and her kids. So maybe she's like, whoever it is, I guess it's you. Cause that you know you're a child and you're easy to manipulate. Yeah, I with mean my woman body. 
She yeah, the person she was interested in was the one that was clearly the stronger one. Mm. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep, yep. And, she, and she, he was like, "Nah, bro." She's. They both tried to get him to stay, her and her daughter, and she tried to get. She tried to marry one of them off to her daughter, mm-hmm. so they would stick around and stay and protect them. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's probably what it is. Looking back, is that she just took whatever she could get for protection. I mean, I think she, you know, was and still that's dating. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately for me and you, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah for other people it's joy and happiness memories life love sure yeah, yeah. sci-fi fantasy whatever <laughs> yeah. just naming made-up things yeah. teleporters yeah time travel <laughs> <laughs> the list goes on yeah, the list goes on but um yeah and so that's where it takes a turn because not only does that happen but there's this moment afterwards where they're washing their clothes in the river the next day and you know, he's obviously hiding the fact that that happened from his friend, not telling his friend that he obviously used his name. And he's ashamed. Which yeah, he's is like, ashamed. when do you tell your friend that? I mean, honestly, never. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Don't. Is that, because it is, it is like, oh, I used your card. I uh, I used your name before I, uh... yeah. <laughs> I told somebody I was you. Yeah. And then I, I liked, I pretended I was you. <laughs> yeah. It was and a little that, bit of role play. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, but again, she caught him right away. And I think that's why he feels bad because he's thinking about his fiance. And he's still like, he, I think at this point he feels guilty enough to like want to start going back. Right. He does. He's like, yeah, we should go back immediately. Like we should go now. And they're like, okay. Yeah. This is like, oh, I'm, okay. So I don't, I'm, well, I'm not rooting for this guy at all. Is he a main character? Because. But again, I think he's supposed to, um, you know, just contrast the main character. He's supposed to be. And his drive to be like an actual warrior yeah. and not just have like the glories of fame, which would yeah. be like women and money and all that good stuff. So. Sake. Yeah. And sake. sake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but when they're out there washing the clothes, they see the rest of this gang, uh, the rest of the brigand. Did I say that right, Cody? Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, they see the rest of them coming well, Multiple after. brigands is called a brig band. Is that real? Don't make me look dumb. No, say it. It's real. The whole brig band shows up. <laughs> You're setting me up. The whole uh, gang, gang shows up. And oh. they, um, yeah, they see them running towards the house and immediately um, Marahachi and uh, Takuso run back to the house because they're thinking about <laughs> protecting the mother they're concerned yeah. about the mother's and safety. they're like you stay here 14 year old the little girl. girl i mean they don't want her to go where the warriors no are but they're just gonna leave her alone they could easily find her hide her in the bushes they said we'll be back for you which they never do well, i feel like they do i don't I think like they, they, do they ever the did they uh, well i mean we also didn't i mean it could be again because this is why i keep using this word disjointed it did feel like there were parts missing I don't think we ever got to really see them leave. That's no, it, it was a scene skip to mm. events afterwards. She yeah. just, I don't know what happened to her. Yeah. But this is where the main character gets his, like, you, you know, if there was any argument for him to be compared to Guts, it'd be this scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, now the friend's going to come in and, and help out because I'm aware <laughs> I have seen him be a competent fighter. Yeah. And instead, he... Well, well, for that, yeah, he's hiding behind the tree. He's like, "Why are you know? Why are my legs moving? You know, why am I not fighting with him?" And that's when he's about to to do it to go fight, and then he stopped, and then he's called by her, and he turns around, and they fuck. Yeah, like right there. And he goes, he's like, "Call out to me if you're alive. Are you alive?" And he's alive. Yeah, he's arguably like outside, more alive than ever. Yeah, yeah. Like right outside where his friends like fighting for the uh, for his life. You know, and I'm like, okay, I, okay, so this is supposed, all right, so this is a comedy. <laughs> I like the classic, like, he can't take us all on. Like, yeah. I always love that. Yeah. He can't, he can't, just don't be scared, he can't. <laughs> and yeah. he just immediately slaughters all of them. Yeah, it's fucked up. I mean, he was defending not only, you know, his honor, but he was trying to protect this woman, her family, her home, and, you know. And his friend. And his friend's fucking in the woods. Yeah, right? Is that, is that, let's not just go a little... Like, it's right in front of the house. But, you know, in that moment, I'm thinking to myself, you know, how, like... Uh, huh? Well, I'm just, oh, because in your mind, it's like, well, I only need, like, 10 seconds before <laughs> I can, like, join the fray. 
So I just need to. So you're like, yeah, that seems completely reasonable. It's not like that's going to interfere with being able to help him. You know? No, I'm thinking you if know, my <laughs> beloved friend could only hold on. But for a, but for a few seconds, mm-hmm. I may I may aid him in battle. Right. No. So, you know, that's not what I was thinking. That was a oh. cute story that you told right now. So sure. A little maybe deeper insight into maybe your sex life. No. Uh, <laughs> no, it's you. <laughs> but see, the way I saw it is, you know, it was kind of like, it was kind of kinky. It was kind of hot because, you know, oh. people are into all <laughs> kinds of shit, you know, and so maybe they're getting extra turned on because they're- Hearing people die next- I mean, maybe because there's a battle oh, okay. going on. So you know, that's why people fucking you, cars. you're like, uh, wait, what? I mean, people fucking in cars, you know, with the, the extra added excitement of like, maybe we'll get caught. No, it's because you have nowhere else to go. Well, that's two. But then the other thing on to the cherry on top. That's of what that. you that. Yeah, that's what you argue for to like avoid <laughs> yeah. the fact that it's the reality is you have nowhere else to go. All right. Well, that is a good point. But I do think there are people there who like like the, you know, will I won't I get caught sort of thing. And maybe they were just like, oh, this is hot. This is kinky. This is what you were thinking of. <laughs> oh, it did cross my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But also, again, what crossed my mind is that, you know, she's, he is a weak, spirited yeah. ma- boy. Because he's 17. Yeah, he's a and fucking boy. And she is a grown woman who I think. Grown ass woman. Whereas. She's also, I mean, she should also know that, like, maybe get your daughter out of there, man. I don't she, know. For sure, right? Yeah. She didn't even yeah. bother to go check on Even if this Josh-like figure only needs, like, five seconds. It's like, that five seconds <laughs> well, can make all the difference. Five seconds to kill the guys because the Josh-like figure's fighting, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> loud and clear got what you're saying um that's a cut rap moving on um, <laughs> um but yeah that's a great point she didn't even look for her daughter she was concerned about getting laid and i think in this situation whereas in the first situation he was clearly taking advantage of her now she is kind of taking advantage of him and using her body to manipulate him into maybe possibly just protecting her but he does have his, the main character has his guts-esque moment where he's slaughtering everybody with the wooden sword, by the way. And he's murdering people and slamming people against walls and trees and everything. Oh, that was cool. And it's really cool. And this is, again, the art. Beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, everything. There, there are a couple uh, panels every now and then where I'm like, oh, wow. That yeah. Very, very well done. Sometimes it's like so detailed that I'm like, it, it kind of stands out from the rest of yeah. the art. Yeah, no, yeah, some panels and a lot of, it felt like a lot of spreads too, a lot of two-page spreads in this volume and a lot of them felt like paintings. I mean, they were just so beautiful and vivid and and I I thought that the art is um, one of the things that makes this a really strong story. But after all that... um, he he's covered in blood. He goes to find his his friend, and he just in the forest sees uh her like hair thing and his like belt or something or or sash or whatever. He's like he the, not the first thought of like oh these people just fucked. He just went my friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, he was a trace of the, that's what I'm like okay so this is like a com. I was honestly like all right this is a comedy where it's like the friend is just like I must go rescue. My dear friend, and he doesn't know his friend is just like a, a sleaze ball. Uh, yeah, scumbag. Yeah. Yeah, and he he took off. He was like, I don't care about what we built. I don't care about our friendship. I gotta go with this woman I just met. Oh yeah, he elopes with her. He writes him a letter. Yeah, he writes yeah. Uh, her his fiance. And she writes her fiance a letter. Wait, no. From her too. She's like, mm-hmm. oh, my name is Oak. Oh yeah, like yeah, 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 from yeah, Oko, yeah. like. He's not yours anymore. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, you know, man. if you're in that position, do it. Yeah, dude. Nowadays, we do it with like <laughs> DMs and stuff. Like, he's my man now. But imagine having to do that by like letter. That's pretty gangster. Like having someone writing a handwritten <laughs> yeah. letter. To- <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that awesome. Would, that would, I mean, if someone, yeah, you, you'd have to just respect it. You couldn't even be upset. Or imagine yeah. if like on Tinder, you know, you don't get any matches yeah. and <laughs> all your unmatches get on, sent to you via letter. Let me, let me, oh, hold on, let me, hold on, so give like me and unmatched. Josh a second to get into that world. Yeah, let me put myself in the mind of somebody who doesn't get matches. <laughs> Oh no! Don't do that. Yeah, Aww. Aww. Don't do the Aww, you guys. Don't do the Aww. Right. No, okay. What was the hold thing on, about getting t- the mind coding? Okay, what, hold on. Let me. Um. Oh. <laughs> we were trying to bond. We had a thing to bond. Uh, yeah, you're over. right. I'm sorry. Take that back. I'm gonna edit that out. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. What about what about them being on Tinder? Yeah. Huh? That, that they got all their matches via the mail. Oh, yeah. No, they get like, you get unmatches. Like, you see how many people you don't match with, and they have to hand write it to you and yeah. say, like, sorry, I'm, I didn't match with you. And you have to wait by the mailbox yeah. to get inevitably rejected. Yep. Sounds like, uh, 
Sounds like fun. Sounds like Tinder. <laughs> Sounds like slower Tinder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's even more heart wrenching because you're like waiting. You're like, yeah. maybe I did match with them, and all of them are just unmatches. Yeah, yeah. Reality check. Um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, the um, the what do we leave off? So okay, they 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 left. In he, the woods. He's Again. looking. He's looking. They wrote. They wrote some p- real power move letters to the fiance who was it was an arranged marriage. Yeah, but she was so cute. She was a fun character. Well, yeah, because he once he finds the thing in the woods, like he decides I'm gonna go back to the village that mm-hmm. I left. The village I swore I would never go back to. <laughs> To tell this person's grandmother and and fiance that um, he doesn't want to tell them that he ran away with another woman, but he just wants to tell them, like, you know, I'm going to go do my own thing now. I'm (laughs) going to, you know, look for them. Maybe I'll find them, but I'm also going to go train. Just came to kind of let you know that they're alive. Uh, He's alive, but that he's just not with me anymore. And he just wanted to do that. And he gets... It's made so hard for him by this grandma. And he gets snitched on really quickly. He's just like, please tell him. Please, He hits him. Okay, first of all, he shouldn't hit people in the face if you want them to relay a message. That was a little weird, too. Uh, You remember that? Yeah, they they say don't hit the messenger. Uh, What if the messenger has a sword? sword. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it now. That was good. But he's like, please don't. And then he's like, Okay, and then he gets up, and then he's like, "Hey, he's over here!" And he's just like, wah, "Yeah." Was that wah. supposed to be a funny moment, or was that supposed to be like? A, I think it was uh, funny. I laughed. I think yeah. there, yeah, there's some sprinkles of the old olden times humor in this. That's the like, humor isn't isn't new. Well, I mean, that's very you know eloquently yeah. put. I guess the, the, the well the, the segue to that is like as like Gilgamesh is like the oldest written like recorded story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, it it is a comedy that also like like there's there's comedic moments in it and it like makes fun of like common story elements, and it's the first story that was written. So like, er, even way back then they're like yeah, but like imagine if you did that. Yeah. Like they were still they were already making fun of this. Stuff. Yeah, it was probably like a volume one podcast back then too, huh? oh. making people laugh. Huh? Yeah, they were reading the uh, the 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 Rosetta Stone and being like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I found right. a new tablet. Oh yeah, it'd be called Tablet One. Tablet uh, One. Tablet One. Yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah. Yeah. They all sit around a campfire and they all review a new tablet each week. Yeah, and then they make fun <laughs> yeah. of like their other co-host. Yeah. For um. Yeah. Uh, the way a this was variety chi- yeah, different things. It seems like this guy had a really small chisel <laughs> when he was etching this one out. <laughs> But he, he was able to fit a lot of words on it, though. Nah, well, he needed a... Well, I provided the tablet, which is huge, by the way. I, but uh, What's more f- important, the tablet or the words? Uh, and it's just this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, this is the podcast. This is tablet the podcast. one. Tablet one. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was good. Um, hit and your you know horse what? to that I mean, one. I'm going to... Yeah, my hands are a little sweaty. And I Mine apologize. too, buddy, but <laughs> there we go. Know, that was a fair, a fair joust. A fair joust. <laughs> And that's also a catchphrase on tablet one. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so he, he goes back to town. He goes back to town. The grandma, or I think it's his mom, Madahashi's mom, but they call her granny. Uh, just Which is fucking. Makes it so hard for him. She's like sells him out to the soldiers who are in the town looking for him. The soldiers end up turning the villagers against them too. And so now the villagers and the soldiers are looking for them. He's trying to get this letter back to the granny to yeah. tell her, like, hey, they're they're okay. They're yeah. fine. He's fine. And, you know, that doesn't work. So he has to go to her house. And she has she's this like, moment. Yeah, all right. My, you know, my bad. Why don't you go and take a bath? Yeah, and she's I like, always... oh, my God. Like, thank you for letting me know. Like, at least he's okay. And you, like, really believe it. Like, I genuinely yeah, thought I she always, was, like, yeah. on his side. I was like, okay, your dumbass fucking grandson left this arranged marriage. This girl's in shambles at the thought of this happening because she's like, I can't remember his face. I yeah. can't. Oh my god! Like I miss him so much. Like, girl. and she almost gets R worded too. Oh yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah, this. Um, remember it's... she's the samurai or the warrior guy goes there and he's like, your husband or your fiance is dead. Trust me, he's on the he was on yeah. the battlefield. He's dead. There's he's a priest dead. in there, and then he's like, priest, why don't you go ahead and get on out of here? All right. And the priest is like, I'm sorry, I, you know, I got to go and forgive me because I know what's about to happen. And then he's like, he, you know, tries to get her drunk and throws himself on her and she kicks him in the face and, and escapes. The fiance. Yeah, yeah the okay, fiance. I thought, you, I, the thought you said the, I thought you said the granny. No, first. but I hope she plays like another a bigger part because she was like one of the more fun characters. Yeah, her like, reactions were very uh, funny. And, funny. And it was like, ah, oh, man, if only you knew that this guy and was not worth it. I like that. the like She was like an orphan. So, they, so she doesn't have like manners and stuff. So she's just kind of like. 
hi. Like, she just, yeah. like, doesn't want to talk to him. She's like, okay, fuck off. And she's like, talk to him. The fucking granny ass bitch. I really did. You know, I, I say a lot of times that I can, I'm like, oh, I feel like I could have, te- I could tell that that's going to happen or that that character was going to do that. Or, but in this, I really did think that she mm-hmm. was actually taking care of him. I really thought she saw the error of her ways. And once she realized her <laughs> son was alive, she felt like I got to take care of his friend. I really believed mm-hmm. it. Um, yeah, but she didn't. She sold him out in the because, bath. And also, I'm like, well, I mean, this that seemed like an overreaction in the first place. Yes, <laughs> like a way over the top reaction. So when she's like, "My bad," I'm like, "All right, yeah, all right, that's pretty. yeah, cool, that's pretty." And then she's like, "No, I didn't even mean that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, come on, ha, I mean, ha, ha. you thought I meant that?" And she is like, even though she is a villain and she is annoying and she is frustrating, like she's so over the top that it's kind of funny sometimes Mm -hmm. because you know she has that line where she says like i'll believe that he's alive but i won't believe that he's uh that he ran off with another woman Mm -hmm. um but it's like she literally wrote you did you not see the letter well she didn't see the letter yeah then show her that can you just come over here really quick can you just show her the letter like it could be easily solved in like seconds (laughs) yeah but otsu the fiance did get the letter she's reading it she's devastated yeah she starts clawing her bleeding and yeah. shit bites her fucking wrist yeah. and i was like oh my god he's not worth it girl yeah, is that uh is biting your your hand is that like a, a thing uh, it kind of looked like dabbing for <laughs> it still does yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know what that means and they love biting their palms so it's like is that like a thing you do when you're stressed i mean maybe i could see that being some sort of tick or something but also like don't you know they need to bite themselves to become titans or aaron does See what I would try to do is avoid uh, <laughs> any any story details. Well, yeah, I mean, I, look, I I think this is about the end too of volume one, right? Mm-hmm. Where um the she gets the letter, she rips it up, she's devastated, and Takuzo is like in the middle of beating up all of these guards or soldiers, and I think he does by the end of the first volume, right? Yeah, um, yeah. kind of. It kind of like yeah. builds up to it, and then it kind of. Then that's the end of the volume. Then so it, like, then oh, okay. Yeah, it's getting a little hot in here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it gets like 115 now. And well, but this shirt's kind of small. So oh, you're to, wearing a jacket. Too. I have to wear the jacket over yeah. it. Otherwise, it looks weird. We're in sunny California, and it's been hot. Anyway. And if you're wondering, California sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I this, hate I, being here. <laughs> it got a little spicy. I was like, ooh, like adultery, like romance a drama i was like okay i'm here for it and then it kind of was just like okay so where can it go from here it was like so much happened just because this one thing happening like how much more will this guy have to interfere with this guy's life like, so now yeah the, the plot that is set up is is a fun story that I'm, I'm seeing which is he has to catch up with his friend to prove that he's alive which will clear his name in his village yeah um, but he didn't even want to go back. He was just trying to it's make like a, her happy and appeased. Like, like a, a Ronin hangover, right? He's got to catch up with his, the, <sighs> the shenanigans his friend gets up uh, up to, right? But he has to... Oh, look, if he can find his friend, then he then right. he won't be accused of murdering his friend. Right. Samur uh, all went awry. <laughs> Samur? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was a little concerned about where it was going. But Sam or all, it, it, Sam or all went awry. Sam when it all went awry. Yeah, um, I liked it. I really <laughs> did like it. I do feel like again, like I need to make that clear. No, it was great. I had, I mean, I had fun because you know, as yeah, as it, a first volume, I do feel like we are getting introduced to these characters, and we're getting like it's all a lot of things are being set up. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked a lot of it. I don't really know what I was expecting going into it, though, but I really was not expecting this at all. Um, this turn with the friend um, and this this whole relationship that they're going to inevitably have. Um, and with, like I said, a time skip that happens later, this is, is a series that I can see why uh, people love as much as they do. But I think it's hard to really get all of the context from volume one compared to berserk Mm -hmm. i feel like i got a lot better feel for guts even though i didn't know anything about him and the world and 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 what he what he was all about Mm -hmm. and i do get what this main character is all about from from this volume but i think it was a little more i think berserk volume one hooked me a little bit more Mm -hmm. than vagabond did yeah i didn't really get a clear sense of who this guy is I know what he wants to do, but I don't really know like what his deal is. Yep. Um as a person. Yeah. 
Because yeah. we have some flashbacks with him and his dad, and his dad is talking to him about how he has the eyes of a demon. Um, he has the eyes that his mother had, and that you know he's a, he's a child crying, and he's telling him to not like think of her as his mother anymore. That she's gone and she's, you know, whatever. Yeah, so he's definitely neglected. The grandma talks about it, too, where she's like, oh, he's a devil. He was feeding on, like, you know, rats and, like, other things and he eating rats. I'm like, maybe because he was neglected and didn't have anything to eat. Everything about that, Granny? Yeah, he was, he was a wild was, man. Yeah, I mean, he was forced rats, to be. So like, I think he, he was homeless. Yeah, he was <laughs> homeless and his dad didn't give a shit about him. So that was, like, it was a little sprinkling. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. It's a little sprinkling here and I there like story. of what he <laughs> 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 He has a lot to offer and I think that why would you look at me like that? He has a lot to offer. He does. I, I think that we should all give him a I know I, I do. Yeah. Like I really I I feel like if we weren't introduced to this other character and mainly just focused on him for a little bit more, I would have totally been more into it. But the fact that they folk like all of what happened in volume 1 was based off of this character who cheated on his fiance, which I mean, it's fine, but it could have been so much more than yeah, that. Yeah, and there were a lot more shenanigans than I expected mm-hmm. uh, there to yeah. be. It's a uh, like the first volume of Berserk felt like the solid setup for the story. Um, this feels like a, all right, yeah, okay, I can see where this is going, mm-hmm. uh, but I, 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 I'm not as connected to the main character mm-hmm. as I feel like I should have been by this point. Yeah, because what I think, although it, it was also a very short volume, it was a yeah. very short volume, and what I think is also obviously different about it too is that this is a very grounded, real world story. And Berserk is a little fantastical. And I think that, um, I don't know if, if that's what made it feel, made me feel like less immersed in, in the world because it, it wasn't this fantasy world, it was the real world. And it was a, it was a historical depiction of, of the past, which, you know, I, I, I do like, but I do tend to like fantasy a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, I really like this character. I know that his motivation is to get strong. He's, he told that to, to Granny, and Granny talked about how he would go in the woods, and all he would do besides eat carcasses is train. And how Megan? his... Um, huh? And yeah, did you ever eat carcasses in the woods? Or that's, you were eating uh, humans? Not, yeah, that's I was eating right. live. All, that's all meat. Megan did. Oh. It wasn't carcasses. It was... Oh, I were. made them into carcasses. Oh, that mm. okay. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. Yeah, then that's my bad. Um, yeah, you guys really fucked up on that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he his goal is to like travel the world and train. I do get what his like goal is. But like you said, Cody, like I don't get a really strong sense of who he is as a person other than who his, that goal. Yeah, it's like I like him, mm-hmm. but I don't really know him. And then anything where, where the point starts off with I want to be stronger, that doesn't really do anything for me so that's like i wanted like if it gave me more of the background stuff and then he's like and that's why i want to be i'm like okay like i'm pretty i'm like i'm leaning towards the positive end of being pretty neutral on him Mm -hmm. um because they didn't do anything that i don't specifically like i just didn't nothing really popped out to me for this character that because it's old it gets a little credit because it's like okay well Obviously, it wasn't as overdone to be. I wanted to be, you know, super strong back yeah. then. So, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know enough about him to like feel like I'm connected. Yeah, the main thing for me was the art. Like that's what really kept me like reading, interested, because it was just so beautiful. And I love the full color. I love any when they just do little like it was like a work of. I was like watercolor. Like it was mm-hmm. so beautiful and. The way, like, all of the characters are drawn, like, the direction that it went, like, with, like, the poses and, like, the fighting and, mm-hmm. like, the facials, like, everything I believed, like, I, I the, the emotions that were shown on everyone's face was really real, and I did like that, but it just got a little too maybe hung up on this one character that I didn't really, like, like to begin with, and then they're, like, wanting me to feel, like, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just credit to sh- like show how good of a friend this guy is to someone who doesn't deserve it and maybe we'll see that later on where he's trying to help people and they don't really necessarily I think deserve that, it I don't that, see the highlight for me in a lot of ways was the dynamic that he had with his friend was this reveal that it wasn't going to be this you know beat by beat story that it was going to take a, a turn that it was going to show um, that his friend wasn't who he was uh, portraying himself to be that he was a bad kind of shitty guy and i liked again and i said it earlier in the episode but i like showing the difference between someone who's willing to work 
for their dreams and someone who's just willing to just kind of mm. claw their way to the top instead mm-hmm. of fight their way to the top, you know? And I That's why I like their relationship. And that's why I really like volume one. But I think, like, again, compared to Berserk, because it's, a, it's another story that is beloved and a classic with beautiful art, I think for me it just established the world and, and, and guts a little bit better. And it set the tone for what the series would go on to be. Whereas this does feel like it can kind of go in a lot of directions. Um, if it became a pure comedy, I'm like, well, that that wasn't a bad setup for a pure comedy. If it became a vengeance story, I'm like that would be a solid. That would be a yeah. fine setup for a solid. Like I just, I just. That's why when I say I don't know how I feel, I gen- I'm like, oh, I yeah. don't know how I feel. Yeah. And you just have to keep reading to figure it out. So. I'm all, yeah, I'm also not against reading more of it. Yeah, yeah. me neither. I mean, I, and again, like I said, I really did. I really did like it. And I know again that there are. You know, other things that that happen in doing some some research, like I know what the story does sort of become and, and another mm. sort of character moment that he's sort of faced with and, and his challenges that are going to that he's going to have to confront in the in the next few volumes. And so just knowing that, um, which I won't really give away here, is interesting enough for me to want to keep reading um, because I do. It does give me a better sense for where the story is going to go. And I and I liked it. Again, when you're when you're talking about classic stories that people love and cherish, and and it, and it is in a lot of people's top fives, mm-hmm. um, you go in with high expectations. And and I, this was a story that I had high expectations for, and I came out of it really enjoying it. But it wasn't what I expected it to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know this was uh, a lot of people's top five. Yeah, yeah. I didn't it's... even know this was a classical. I really just read stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't read synopsises. I don't look up. When it was written, I just read it. I'm like, I oh, that's the story. Because usually, if you read the synopsis, I don't. Okay, well, that there goes the whole volume. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, it it, it seemed fine. Yeah. So I guess um, I'm I'm prob I'm I'm under the impression that it gets much better as it goes on. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I, I get feel that, that too. Vibe I, too. I definitely feel that. And again, like the writing is really good, and the characters are really good. I just think that volume one being as short as it was it didn't have enough time to yeah because it was like oh it's like four chapters so like okay so there'll be long chapters and like no those were short chapters so like that's why like i mean i have like i don't think that was the full i think it was 10 it was 10 chapters but they were really short oh yeah it felt like nothing then the chapters were really short they were it wasn't a hard read no it went by really fast and i i'm under the impression that wasn't the the end of the story being set up yeah so i I think that was a volume two scenario yeah Mm. (laughs) Yeah. um yeah i don't know i think uh, like you guys both said this is something that i do want to continue to read and and, and i want to (laughs) i I want to um experience and i want to connect with the way that so many people have connected with this series um but as for volume one, keeping it volume one, I really did did like this series. But compared to uh, Berserk, if if I had to choose one or the other, I think, again, Berserk hooked me a little bit more. It's just the like, if we didn't have that like thing in the back of our brain of everyone telling us like, oh, these are like two that should be at the same level. Yeah based off of volume one it would be much different for me like the expectations were so high like you were saying like i was like this is one of the greatest this is like people regard them in the same sense where like the art i could totally see where they're coming from in that sense like like i said the fighting scenes were awesome the gore was awesome like i could totally see where those can be compared that way but the story just didn't really hook me as much as i thought it was going to and at some points i was like oh it's oh it's oh it's like you know it was like like parts i really really liked and like I said, like the whole contract. I'm sorry. Cody's I'm sorry dying. if I'm talking. That's not about you. No, it's it's so hot and he's wearing a jacket and me in short sleeves. I cannot imagine. Yeah, it's really hot. On. This is like airy silk. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Megan, go ahead. Yeah. It was good. And I, I want to keep reading to understand where people are coming from more. So I think that we should continue to read it together and see where it goes because i am very intrigued on where the story goes based off of just like him alone not necessarily the other character that was involved because i could totally just see it going from like the next volume just like having nothing to do with that other character and we never see him again (laughs) yeah this seems like something that can be uh well that's how classical stories usually go right there 
Yeah, but I this section, this section. But I do know that this is a character that at least for a while um, mm. is going to be mm. a part oh, of the so story. So instead of speculation, yeah. let's just have someone who looked into the story past the first volume. Let's yeah. have it. Huh. Here Weird. you go. Hmm. Yeah. It's volume one, though. It is volume one, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy that uh, <laughs> you would just be like, well, I... That's I crazy that I gave away plot details past volume one, but I didn't, did I? Well, you you did a couple of things. <laughs> but I didn't, did I? <laughs> I don't know. Let us know what you guys think. I think that Vagabond is a... Um, uh, I like how he said, I'm going to be a Vagabond. A I lot. am Vagabond. I was like, he said it. Yeah, he said the thing. He I like said that. the yeah. thing. Yeah. I always like that. Now, is that a... They didn't... He Like, he like they had that... Like, that was the word that they used? Not like, I'm going to be a Ronin? Isn't that what a Ronin is? Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Vagabond sounds cooler, maybe. Um Ooh. No, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know why he chose the word vagabond, and I don't know the exact difference. Because I the was definition. under the the reason I thought this was going to be about hobos, because I have a lot of hobo stories. Yeah, the reason I th- I used to hang out with not hobos. surprising. Yeah, yeah. yeah, under bridges. Uh, is I like that's a type of of hobo. Yeah, yeah, a vagabond. You know, when I think of vagabonds, I think of what do you call? I can't think of the word, but what do you call like the tra- other traveling sort of? people in fantasy stories um they they have another name too they're like a troop or a uh of something a troubadour a band no not a band um someone will let me know traveling in the band hopefully Wanderer. um a, it starts with a p maybe p? i don't know a what p <laughs> i said people what yes. megan we're highbrow over here pedestrian no it's not important anyway um but i do think of that too I do think of, huh. um, I, know, I'm trying to... I do think of like, yeah, someone who's a traveler instead of like a Ronin, but it's based on a, on a real person and their real life experiences or maybe a fictionalized version of, of their life. And so I think that's, um, you know, probably has to do a, a lot with mm. why they made the choices that they, that they made. But, um, I'd love to honestly know more about this person too, um, in real life. Cause I know that this name that they got is a name that was given to them later um uh takazo is the name they started with but they end they they once they the legends are of uh i think musashi uh is is the name that they are given and the name that is Mm. more known historically Mm. Um, but yeah just to just to understand this person's journey from beginning to end i think warrants definitely reading more but i liked what i read in volume one i'm glad we finally got around to reading mm-hmm. it after so many people were recommending this series to us and asking us to check this out i think it's fitting that we did sort of just come off of our golden age arc reviews not too long ago to talk about this and to appreciate it it's art style everything it's set up and everything that it's doing and i'd love to see where it goes um and if you want us to see if you want to see us talk more about it then you can comment down below um, Vagabond Volume 1 because I don't think we got enough from just the mm. first volume. Yeah. It was a pretty short one. Yeah. A, a little maybe too short. Yeah. That's yeah. how I uh that's how I feel. Yeah, is that how you feel Megan? Is mm-hmm. that does that pretty much sum it up for you too? Yeah, definitely. There's like stories that you read they're like I mean volume ones in general like sometimes they hook you really a lot. And then sometimes you need more time with the characters. And I think this is the prime example of that. And yeah. I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes, too. And I agree. If we had a little more time mm-hmm. with these characters, I think maybe if we just had like two or three more chapters, mm-hmm. it would have been the sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, let mm-hmm. us know um, mm-hmm. what you think mm-hmm. of, of Vagabond. Let us know what it means to you. If it means a lot to you, let us know what to expect. Give us reasons and incentives as to why we should continue to read this series because I do know that it has to be a series that gets even better as it continues. And if you do decide to read it based on this video, let us know what you thought and if you agree with anything that we've said in this episode. But because of the heat and because of time, it's time to move on to the other segment that we do on this show, the wonderful um, 
Oh, Cody's taking the jacket off. I thought you were going to make it to the end of the episode, but he's taking the jacket off. I forgot off. that we have this what? section. Like, I'm not doing, I thought like, I can make it till we do the final thing. Like, yeah, we're doing comments. Uh, yeah, to th- our famous segment, the Wonder Circle. Wonder Circle. Where we, um, excuse me, circle. not we, but where Volume Munchan goes circle. through comments that you've left on previous videos reads them aloud to us and we respond to them and if you want us to read one of your comments in a future wonder circle then comment down below on this video or any of our previous videos but with all that said volume one chan would you please kick us off with the first comment <laughs> this one comes from Naima- <laughs> Na- oh, wow. Naimeka Okazaru. volume one stamp of approval should become a normal thing Ooh, oh, she yeah. cannot pronounce just like you We're in this working episode. On her voice, oh, I can... uh, modulator yeah, transfigurations. She's, yeah. Going a little haywire. Trans- <laughs> transmogrifiers. <laughs> transmogrifiers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're, they're a little a little going haywire. They're a yeah. Little... Yeah, what so what do you guys think? You, you guys think we should give a series a volume and stamp of approval? Definitely. Yeah, we'll I work like on that. the thing. I what lo- I oh like <laughs> I like uh, Megan's idea of like oh we'll do a we'll do a, a zero you know to stand for one. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, we'll she's do an, the zero like, oh, and you're the one. No. Yeah. So no, it's, it's like she could never. If she, no, it was. <laughs> make, she, like do a z like do a circle for one. No, it, when it's like well we could just do a one. Well, for also one. she was doing a circle for the word one. Or one. Cir- yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like that's yeah. the yeah. But it's like but that's also the shape and of I'm another doing number. A circle for one or circle. Oh, that too. Okay, but that's not, that's like a squid head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a full circle. Exactly, it's my point. Uh, okay, well, so, we, well, how about volume and stamp of approval is a thing, but the signal for that we have to work on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, I think, uh, you know. You want to make a, some un- sort of weird. Um, Pentagon? Yeah, some sort of weird diamond shape. <laughs> yeah, this is a squid head. Yeah, I mean, we need to, th- we need to workshop that. Um, we but can I get think, stamps. We could get stamps. The volume one stamp of approval. Does Vagabond have the volume one stamp of approval? Uh, I I wasn't energetic enough about it to uh, really get that approval. Megan, how do you feel? Uh, yes, because I know that we will read more of it and have a, it be in a better place with it. Here's what I I'll think say. that. I think that. Here's what I'll say. It gets the stamp of approval, but I didn't dip the stamp in a lot of ink. It's just like it's a light, it's a light stamp of mm. approval. Okay, well, I th- a stamp of approval requires all three of us <laughs> mm. to approve it. So then, by because design, we need the handle, mm-hmm. the imprint, and the ink, mm. Mm. and yeah. I am the handle. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's all right. not better. Than- yeah, I I'll be the ink. <laughs> yeah, you would be. Yeah, I would be. That leaves me with the stamp. The rubber in the rubber. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's the rules of the volume one standing approval, then uh, then it's to be determined. Um, <laughs> but stay, stay tuned. tuned. But uh, yes, great comment and a great mm-hmm. idea and something that uh, we are all excited to possibly in- mm-hmm. implement in the future. Volume one, Chan. Can you read us another comment, please? <laughs> comes from Rigo Berte Solorzano. Oh, how come nobody is talking about how the fact that Josh looks like a poor man's version of Christian Bale? A suspicious face? And just to be clear, that is a compliment. LOL. A laughing emoji. Oh. Very poor man. Aww. Well, trying, first of all, thank you for picking that comment. Thank you so much. <laughs> and second of all, and this is a real thing, is that I <laughs> genuinely... Uh, when I read that comment before Volume One Chan found it, um, I thought it said complaint that that is a genuine complaint of mine and not compliment of because mine, which shows you my self esteem. Yeah, because the the, per- the person commenting it was Christian Bale. So like, why do they look like a poor version of me? I I'm just lucky to be a poor version of anybody, really. Oh, yeah, I mean that's not a bad poor version. Of something <laughs> no, like. no, 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 no. I mean, thank you so much, and I'm glad that out of all of the comments. That volume one on herself picked yeah, that one to read. Too. Yeah, she really <laughs> wanted to give that one to you, I guess, even though you bully her half the time. I don't bully her. She bullies me. Because you bully her. No. And thank you um, for saying that you it's know okay. nice thing. And I'm sorry that I misread it. And um, it made me feel good. And moving on, volume Aww. one chunk, can you read um, one more comment for us, please? <laughs> 
comes from Miss Plain Jane. Actually, the manga title is called Spy Family. The X isn't a word, but a connector between spy and family. Right, and this is like going back to like <laughs> Hunter. Right. This is going back to like Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. You know what's X funny Hunter. is our compromise in not knowing that is we refer to as Hunter, Hunter, but we refer to, but we'd say Spy X family. And you know what? I, you know, <laughs> you I, know what? That was, I, that was, I remember having that discussion of at least we'll be right about one of them. You know, I think, and this is just my, you know, humble opinion, I do think Spy X family sounds cooler than spy family and you know definitely even if that is maybe that's the way that it's intended to be said spy family but something about spy x family has a little more spy to it spy family is what it's about but spy x family implies a a a put back and forth between spy and family exactly exactly it is not just spy family because they're not all spies in the family you had a spy that had to get a family right Right now, here's here's where where this leads me is if it, okay so spy family if you don't pronounce the X makes sense spy family right but hunter hunter <laughs> right hunter hunter I don't see the problem hunter <laughs> yeah. hunter yeah because well, there's hunters what, and then there's also right hunters there's hunters and then there's hunters, hunters. yeah yeah so it's a hunter hunter. Right. A hunter who hunts hunters. Yes. Yeah. That would be a hunter, hunter, hunter. No, no that's a it's hunter, just hunter, hunter, hunter. A hunter, 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 hunter. No, no, why are you adding more to it? Hunter, no. hunter, hunter. No, no. It's a hunter who hunts hunters. And maybe people named hunter too. If hunter hunts hunters, <laughs> you it's hunter, hunter, it. hunter. <laughs> no. No, don't try to don't try I... to add more disrespect <laughs> to the hunter oh. hunter pile mm. than you've already added. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep going. I'll say this about it. This, the comment did not lead to this. But I have heard a lot of pro arguments that are well thought out for Hunter Hunter that I have not heard for other series that I dislike. Ah, and I so, know what you're talking about. Yes. I know, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That yeah. is the respect I can give to the fans, which is they can very well articulate why I'm wrong. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's Which just I what Hunter see. X Hunter fans do. That's what Hunter, That's what Hunter, 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 Hunter fans do. Yeah, I do think that we got to figure this now out. Now, right? it's probably you don't pronounce it. I is mean, it definitively? Is it definitively? It sounds yes. like we're ma- mocking them. With but Spy I think X family? I mean, we're wrong. Yeah, I mean, we're probably wrong. For sure, we're probably wrong. We're wrong. But because <laughs> it's definitively <laughs> Spy <laughs> family, that for sure? Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of a bummer. I mean. But that's not how X's work in, our, in English. Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, look. Can I? Is it wrong for me to say it? Is it wrong for me to have fun? Yeah. If, is it wrong I, to be imaginative? Get, if you're wrong about how you're doing. Hey. That. Right. If I'm if I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. Well, yeah. You apply that logic to other things, and that's when it gets problematic, though. You know. Like what? So like how so? It? I mean, I don't want to list examples. Just right one. Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I was about to, and then I stopped myself, and that's called growth. Okay. Um, but yeah, whether it's spy family or spy ex family, let, let it's always volume one. It's always volume one. Yeah, we're not going to be volume X one. We're never going to be volume X one. It's always volume one. And speaking of volume one, this has been another episode of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so thank you as always <laughs> for watching and listening. But before we go, we do have to shout out our wonderful, beautiful Patreon members. Every single freaking one of you. We see you. We see all the new members. We see all the old members. We see... We see all of you, we and we appreciate you guys. all of you. And we love all of you guys. You guys are all amazing. You guys are all the best. You guys are awesome. Because of you guys, we get to we get to do the cool stuff that we get to do, like and turn air conditioning on yeah. when the episode is over. Yeah, we we can afford to turn the air conditioning <laughs> on. Um, it didn't always used to be that way. Um, and thank you so much again for all your support. It really does help us out so much and means so much to us. Um, and if you'd like to become a Patreon member, you can do that as always by going to patreoncom slash volume one pod. We also just have to say that we appreciate everybody for watching, listening, commenting, subscribing, being a part of the algorithm gang. However, you can show your support or choose to show your support. We appreciate you too. 
Um, but that's going to do it for another episode of Volume 1. All that's left now to do is get out of here in our outro that's always the same and never changes, which today, of course, is... Volume X1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, okay. Um... It's pretty good. If we can't think of another one in like the next two seconds before Cody dies of a heat stroke, then we'll do that one. Time to... Vagabond with this manga. Remember that thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Vagabond it, it, with volume one. Vagabond with volume one. Let's just keep it like that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Sure. You don't like it? No, let's just go. It's hot. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time... Vagabond, Vagabond with, with volume, volume one. one. Da, 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 da